you can use QLab to OBS. First, download this Soundflower from GitHub. I'll put the link below the description. Just download it. It should download automatically. Choose this, the .dmg, since it's here. Just open it. open the package some of you may encounter this problem just go to security and privacy where is it there and then go to general then open anyway click open this is important if you're doing sound there just click open anyway and then continue install enter your password then just wait for it may take uh, a couple of minutes you can open your QLab now and also OBS once it is installed dito sa audio you can select the sound flower two channels as your mic uh, mic source and then here sa QLab create a new workspace this is how you can config configure the video output go to settings video and then edit and then here select siphon this one click the minus sign delete it it's done and then in the audio just remove everything else and select the, ch the two channels and then here so OBS click the plus sign usually with the uh, Mac OS this should uh, show up the siphon client select OK uh, by the way, check the make source visible. So, make source visible and source QLab. Press OK. So, since we have everything set up here, we can drag the files. Uh, this is an audio file, a video. So, for the video, just select your screen and then for the audio select the two channels so we can play it now just loop it if you can see the audio output is here i did not mirror it yet but you can try streaming if you go stream it should show up sa live stream here oops level the audio here or through QLab level it here for the cropping unfortunately we can adjust the points it will be 
a mirror of your of your screen so what you can do is just adjust the scale here so if you see Can duplicate or add more sources there. you can do it in another scene just add another siphon But whatever you're playing here in QLab is gonna mirror an OBS. So if you're using QLab, I suggest you build your cues here instead of here. So what you can do is just switch from QLab to probably your other sources or captures. Alright.